Good afternoon. My name is John Heiser. I'm a historian here at Gettysburg National Military Park. And today we're standing at the very edge of the famous Joseph Shurfee Peach Orchard. Just to the south, Mr. Shurfee's neighbor was George W. Rose, one of the largest and probably richest farms on the battlefield, which you can see behind me here. Kind of hard to get to through the haze this morning. George W. Rose was a relatively new landowner. He did not live here in Gettysburg, but he purchased the farm in 1858 to help supplement his grocery and butcher business there in Germantown, Pennsylvania, where he resided. He had the farm here for several years, and finally in April of 63, his brother John and his family moved here to manage the farm, take it over, and that was going to be a year of bumper crops. The wheat was growing really well, oats were growing well, the rye was growing well, the orchards were doing really well. The trees were absolutely full of fruit. Things dramatically changed July 2nd, 1863, that morning when Union troopers first arrived on the farm asking for hay from the barn. After that, things changed dramatically that afternoon. Within three hours, the fortunes of the roses were lost in the heavy fighting that took place here. By the end of the fighting on July 2nd and into July 3rd, there were over 6,000 casualties alone in the rose wheat field. Other casualties here along the edge of the uh, peach orchard and up to what we call Stony Hill. In the aftermath of that, the roses were devastated financially. They sought to sell the farm in 1866, had trouble selling it, could not sell it, and by the 1870s, they were really in financial problems. We're going to talk about a little bit about the history of the farm itself, what the roses went through, but also the battle experiences here, the South Carolinians, the Pennsylvanians, the Michigan soldiers, the New Yorkers who fought here, and what they went through on July 2nd, 1863. So the George Rose Farm was the center of the battlefield on July 2nd, and again on July 3rd, there was fighting here as well. I hope you'll join me this summer as we go over the Rose Farm, talk about the fortunes of the roses, the problems they had in managing the farm in the aftermath, what they had to deal with, and how the armies looked at the Rose Farm. We'll also take a look at how this farm has progressed, the neglect, and how it's been saved in just the past 10, 15, 20 years here at Gettysburg National Military Park. Stream more programs like this live and on demand with the PCN app in HD on your favorite device. Go to PCNTV.com to start streaming today.